Good morning, my dear teachers and friends. We are a group of four Vietnamese students of the Experimental Secondary School from Vietnam. It's our great pleasure to be here this morning and speak to you about how COVID-19 impacts on the rise of the digital revolution in education in Vietnam. There are three parts in our presentation. In part one, we will cover the status of the digital technology in Vietnam. And in part two, is the rise of the digital revolution in Vietnam's education throughout the epidemic. And in part three, we will illustrate the, of the digital shifts in education with statistics and evidence from our survey conducts and some recommendations on digital adoption to our last epidemic. So now, let's start with the current status of the digital technology in Vietnam. The pandemics have changed the way we work and study. In one of its ways for COVID-19 response, Vietnam's government has priority reforms to promote e-learning, e-payment, and e-government. With a young, uh, 100 million strong population and a consistent GDP growth rate of around 7% over the past 20 years, Vietnam has been rapidly digitizing its infrastructure through national broadband rollout and 4G, 5G deployments as the key to digital transformation and international economic competitiveness. Starting in major urban centers such as Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, affordable 5G will be critical in building smart cities and powering the to increase economic growth, generate jobs and growth through us achieving the new and sustainable development goal. From 2021, as a step for pushing the fourth industrial revolution, digital transformation rankings will be assessed for Vietnam's industries and provinces each year, measuring the extent to which national and local authorities have developed online activity in all areas of socialty and economy. Next, my friend Ling Yang will talk about the rise of the digital revolution in Vietnam's education. Education is one of the priority areas for investment national or digital transformation program. In recent years, the education sector has actively applied digital information technology in teaching activities. With a scale of more than 53,000 education and training institutions, 24 million pupils, students, and 1.4 million teachers, the education sector determines that a good implementation of digital transformation will contribute to a successful implementation of the National Digital Transformation Program, contribute to the digital economy, digital society, and the information of the digital nation. With nearly 80% of school students being able to study online and 50% of higher education institutions teaching remotely during the period of suspension from school due to COVID-19 epidemic, Vietnam has been evaluated by domestic and international organizations very positively in the application of online learning forms. It can be seen that the COVID-19 epidemic has created pressure but also accidentally created opportunities and motivation for the education training industry to adapt at the online teaching methods and implement stronger digital transformation. The application of an online learning management system is capable of managing the process of online teaching learning activities. Digital transformation in education promotes the birth of many new platforms and technologies for e-learning, such as e-books, e-libraries. With the rapid development of technology, social networks, mobile applications today, along with the education industry is promoting the application of digital transformation technology in teaching. All of this have facilitated the digital transformation in education to grow stronger, creating opportunities for everyone to learn and interact at all times at anywhere. To help you understand more about the digital shift in education in Vietnam with statistic number, my team member Mati will explain more. Now, we will illustrate the digital shift in education with statistics and evidence for our survey conducted. Let's start with some ideas of international experts on Vietnam's digital shift in education. Ms. Rana Flowers, Chief Representative of the United Nations Children Fund. UNICEF in Vietnam emphasized that strong solutions provided by MOET are very quick and effective, creating great conditions for online teaching and learning in order to maintain student learning activities. Professor Fernando Ramirez of Harvard University 
also highly appreciated the efforts of the Vietnamese education sector during the COVID-19 pandemic. According to Professor Remers, Vietnam has not only demonstrated its commitment to ensuring that all children continue their learning, even when they are not in school, but also triggers initiatives and actions aimed to all students, with student, from students with full access to students with difficulties to online learning. This survey explores how stakeholders of Hunter Experimental High School think about COVID-19 impact on digital development in education. Our survey was released to the students, parents and teachers of the school from 29th August to 15th September 2021, brought in, in a total of 776 responses. Most of our respondents use Zoom or Sony Online, but Microsoft Teams is going to account for a greater portion soon in the near future. With our questions about what benefit can you get from studying online at home? 52% of respondents think that online studies saves time pen spent for traveling so they can utilize that time to do other works. 38% of respondents believe online studying can help them to enhance self-study skills, get more active in arranging study time schedule, and develop proactive problem-solving skills. Online studying and online teaching allow students and teachers to digitally interact with each other from anywhere in the world at any time without having to physically travel. It also helps teachers and students optimize learning time, maximize their ability to think, and most importantly, their study is not interrupted by a pandemic. With your questions about, in your opinion, how has COVID-19 pandemic impact digital technology application in Vietnam's education? 72% of respondents think that the rise of digital revolution driven by COVID-19 has helped develop more digital applications as well as promote teachers and students' IT skills. The ever-increasing presence and influence of technology in education can be seen in many aspects from e-learning, student assessment, customized learning experience, to online testing, creating a new era in which teachers and learners are empowered to adopt technology to keep moving forward during COVID-19 pandemic. We also got ideas collected from parents and teachers. 75% of respondents confirmed that digital transformation plays a very important role in teaching curriculum and education during pandemic. Technology can help a teacher at a school in Vietnam take a student on tour across five continents, communicate with foreign friends through multiple lessons across the borders. With a phone or a computer connected to the internet, both teachers and students can access the knowledge base of humanity with just one click. Finally, we would like to share some recommendations on digital adoption to outlast the pandemic. Despite the ongoing health and economic challenges, COVID-19 has also driven the adoption of many digital initiatives. While the future is unpredictable and tends more dependent on technology, it is worthwhile to look ahead now to prepare for a changed future. We should prepare ourselves for digital readiness, while prepare for remote work and study arrangements, enhance our digital information and media literacy to catch up with the digital trend, equip ourselves with capable skills in the age of technology, do training, upskilling, and reskilling of the educators, teachers, and students. Business leaders, governments, and educational institutions must work together to upskill our people to drive sustainable economic and educational development for Vietnam. Last but not least, we would like to thank you, teachers, and friends for giving us an opportunity to present today and be able to study and see how the COVID-19 has impacted our normal life and our studying, as well as the rise of digital revolution in education and other aspects. You have made this a big and unforgettable event. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoyed this presentation.